Hello and welcome. Get settled in, because today we're going to be taking a look at five of my favorite underrated combos in Commander. At number five, we have combos around the card Reiterate, which is an instant that costs a generic, a red, and a red that says buyback three. You may pay an additional three as you cast this spell. If you do, put this card into your hand as it resolves. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And how this works is that you cast a spell that produces more mana than Reiterate costs to cast with buyback. And then you can copy the mana spell an infinite number of times. And because after you cast that spell and you have the infinite mana, with the buyback, you'll still have Reiterate in your hand. And you can cast Reiterate an infinite number of times. So what you do is you take your favorite instant or sorcery and you cast it an infinite number of times. Uh, you can blatant thievery the entire board, just steal every permanent. You could use Bribery, Infinite Turns, uh, Clone Legion, really just anything you want to do. And that's why I like this card and the combos around Reiterate so much, is that you can tailor it to your play style and make it as broken or as janky as you want. And if you really like the Reiterate combo, you can use Firemind's Foresight as a really compact one card opener you can use on the end step before your turn. And uh, if you're just listening to this or if you don't know what the card is, uh, let me just read that out for you real fast. So Firemind's Foresight is an instant that costs five generic, a blue and a red. And it says, search your library for an instant card with mana value three, reveal it, put it into your hand. Then repeat this process for instant cards with mana values two and one, then shuffle your library. So the three drop you're gonna get is Reiterate, followed by Pyretic Ritual and Lightning Bolt as your two drop and your one drop. You can also get Reset as your two drop depending on how much mana you have available, but it may not always be feasible to use Firemind's Foresight on someone's end step and then still try to go with the win. But maybe if like, Mizix of the Ismagnus is your commander, you could pull it off. Our next combo that we're gonna be taking a look at concerns the Rectors. That is the Academy Rector and Arena Rector. And the first one we're gonna be looking at is one that I believe was first created by Mons of CDHTV, which by the way, amazing channel. You guys should all go check it out. Even if you don't play CDH, really good content. Anyway, so how it works is you have Arena Rector on the battlefield, and then you either crack it with an Eldritch Evolution or Neoform. And as an additional cost to cast either one of those spells, the Arena Rector will die. So before the spell even goes on the stack, the Arena Rector dies. When that happens, you exile the Arena Rector and you search your library and get Tamiyo Field Researcher. And then once Tamiyo is on the battlefield, you let either the Neoform or Eldritch Evolution Resolve, works with either one, and you go get Deep Glow Skate. Deep Glow Skate enters the battlefield. After Tamiyo, Tamiyo sees the Deep Glow Skate doubles the loyalty counters on Tamiyo, and then you just alter right away on the spot, draw three cards, and you get that Omniscience emblem for the rest of the game that says you can cast spells from your hand without paying their mana costs. And if you're already running Neoform and Eldritch Evolution in your deck for the Arena Rector, you might as well also be running Academy Rector because you can still do some pretty cool stuff with the Academy Rector. Such as, if you take that same Neoform and Eldritch Evolution that was super effective on the Arena Rector, but you cast it targeting the Academy Rector instead, uh, you can go ahead and get Omniscience. And once you have your Omniscience from the Academy Rector, you can go ahead and get either a five or a six drop, depending on whether you use Neoform or Eldritch Evolution. Uh, assuming you used Eldritch Evolution, you can grab Consecrated Sphinx. With Omniscience and Consecrated Sphinx, it is going to become really, <laughs> really difficult for you to lose that game. 
And if you already have the Academy Rector and the Arena Rector in your deck, well, you might as well also be running Diabolic Intent because you're really good at the game and you're a good deck builder. <laughs> So some things that you can do with Academy Rector, for example, and Diabolic Intent uh, is you can crack the Academy Rector and like before grab Omniscience and then with Diabolic Intent you can grab any spell you want to and because you have the Omniscience, uh, really uh, the sky is the limit with this one. You can get Enter the Infinite, just draw your entire deck and you have an Omniscience. You can play every single card in your deck. You can just do expropriate, you can wheel and see what you can do, literally anything you want. And if we use Diabolic Intent with Arena Rector, there's actually a number of neat things that you can actually pull off. You can get Narset, Parter of Veils, with the Arena Rector trigger. And with the Diabolic Intent, you can grab a Windfall or Wheel of Fortune or similar effect, wheel everyone's hands away. Uh, you can also do three fairy along with knowledge pool as the card you get from Diabolic Content. Uh, that just hard locks everyone out of the game. Nobody can cast any spells. Um, or you can just go for the Tamiyo Deep Glow combo that I first mentioned, except you just need to have enough mana to cast the Deep Glow Skate. But yeah, those are the Rector combos, and that's why I love them so much. And if you have a Super Friends deck, uh, I strongly recommend you include the Rector packages in your Super Friends deck. Moving on to our next combo, we have Elish Norn. And some of, depending on your point of view, either the most fun or the most diabolical uh, combos that you could possibly do. So Elish Norn, if you don't know, is a legendary creature Praetor that costs five generic, a white and a white, and says uh, Vigilance, but we don't care about that part. Other creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Okay, cool, but not super important. Creatures your opponents control get negative two, negative two, and that's where the funny yet cruel uh, combo potential comes into play. The first thing you can do, and probably the most viable option in terms of pairing Elish Norn with a card is gonna be Living Plane. And that is an enchantment that costs two generic, a green and a green, and says that all lands are now 1-1 one, one creatures. So what that's gonna do is make all of your opponent's lands die and just be destroyed as a state-based action. And the difference between this combo and say just like an Armageddon, for example, is that with an Armageddon, your opponents can slowly build up, build their lands back, like bit by bit, turn by turn. With the Elish and Orden Living Plane, that's just a hard lock. Um, all of their lands die, and they cannot play any new lands because if they play another land, it just dies immediately because of the state-based action. The next cool thing that you can pair with, well, I don't know if cools is the right word. The next dickish thing that you can pair with Elish Norn that I like to do anyway is Dovescape. So Dovescape is an enchantment that costs three generic and then three uh, blue-white hybrid mana that says, whenever a player plays a non-creature spell, counter that spell. That player creates X, one, one, white and blue bird creature tokens with flying, where X is the spell's mana value. So what ends up happening there is every single time your opponents try to cast a non-creature spell, it just gets hard countered as a state-based action because Dovescape will turn their Force of Will or whatever into five 1-1 one, one bird tokens. But Elish Norn says all your opponent's creatures get negative two, negative two, so the bird tokens that they would make just die immediately. Devscape does counter your spells as well, but Elish Norn makes your bird tokens plus two plus two, so you can usually just swing in and finish them off with the bird damage. And the next combo we have to look at here concerns Dranith Magistrate. And true story, I kid you not, this, this combo was actually the impetus for this entire video because I was playing against someone last week and they were playing a Boros deck and you know they had Dranith on the battlefield for a while. They played Possibility Storm 
and I was like, oh, okay, you do anything else? Like, I didn't realize what it was. And they, they were like, no, pass turn. And I was like, okay, I, I do this. I play a, a soul ring or whatever, you know? And they were like, oh, uh, you can't do that. And I was like, why? And then it dawned on me that because of Dranith Magistrate and Possibility Storm, that your opponents just cannot cast spells. I was so disgusted and impressed at the same time, I decided that I wanted to make a video about underrated uh, combos like that one. All right, so our number one underrated combo that is my favorite right now, uh, it is one that I have to admit that I've not actually been successful in pulling off yet. So uh, hopefully one of you maybe watching this can do it. Uh, I'm going to certainly keep trying to do it. Uh, but that combo is one with nothing plus sudden substitution. So for a long, long time, I've been racking my brain on how to take what is subjectively Magic's worst card, which is one with nothing, and make it good somehow. So first I thought maybe if I do a Damia Sage of Stone deck, I can use it, discard my hand, then just redraw if I don't like the cards in my hand. But then, no, like it dawned on me that this is probably the best way you can use it. Okay, so what you do is you cast one with nothing, right? Targeting whoever. Hold priority, cast sudden substitution, targeting one with nothing and your opponent's commander or whatever. And because it has split second, it cannot be countered or interacted with in any way. And the net outcome of this combo is that you steal the best creature on the board and the person who you stole it from has to discard their entire hand. So like I said, I've not actually been able to successfully pull that off. So if any of you are actually able to pull that off, or if you're able to pull off any of the other combos mentioned in this video, or if you have your own underrated combo that I did not mention, uh, be sure to leave a comment letting me know if you were able to pull off the legendary substitution one with nothing combo, or if you have your favorite other combo that I didn't mention, tell me what your favorite janky underrated combo is. I wanna know all about them. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting me and the channel in any way you can. Until next time, take care you guys.